Today is appetizer day. I'm going to show you how to make a blooming quesadilla. This is a Mexican inspired dish and it's perfect for football season, the holidays coming up. So why not just throw this one together for fall? Because there's so many things happening. This is the perfect one to put together. It is easy to eat. You just pull them apart like a blooming onion. All right, y'all, come on over. We're gonna start making that mixture first. What I'm doing is cutting up boneless, skinless chicken breast that's already been cooked. Now, I've got this off of rotisserie chicken. Actually, there's two of them in here. And I'm just using the breast meat, the white meat, you can bake your own chicken if you want to do that. You can boil your chicken. You can uh, cook your chicken in the crock pot if you want to do that. As long as you get two cups of finely chopped chicken. This is a fun dish to put together. You can flavor it any way you want to add whatever ingredients you want. I'm going to show you basically what we're going to do and then you can go from that. All right, I'm gonna measure out two cups of our finely chopped chicken. Always use the back edge of your knife when you're scraping along your cutting board. That way you don't dull your blade on your knife. Oop, that looks good right there. I'm just gonna place our chopped chicken into a medium bowl. And then I'm going to bring over some veggies because, you know, quesadillas have veggies in them, right? I've got a red bell pepper. I'm just going to slice off one side. Don't need much. And then we're going to do a quarter of an onion. And we'll chop that. And then we've got a jalapeno here, so we're going to chop off the sides and keep away from the seeds. Probably that much right there. All right, let me pull off the outer layer here. Now, what we're gonna do is saute our vegetables just for a few minutes. That way they'll get nice and soft because this isn't gonna take very long in the oven to cook at all, and we want our vegetables to be tasty, soft, and delicious. So I've got a small skillet here. I'm just going to turn it on to a medium heat. I'm going to add just a little dribble of oil here. Not too much. You don't want everything to be wet. I'm going to dice these up very finely and then we're going to add it to the oil. Just slice very thinly. And then we'll run our knife through, very small, like, there we go. I'm gonna start adding this to our hot oil. Let it start simmering down. You know, I love that sizzle. We're just going to stir this for a few minutes. I mean, look at the color. Who wouldn't want to eat that? All right, we're going to take our peppers and onion mixture and just add it to the chicken in our bowl. Mmm, it's going to be good. We're going to add in one cup of your favorite taco sauce. Now, we like picante sauce, and this is a medium. You could, they got mild, they've got hot, whatever you like. We're gonna add one cup. Oh, it splashes. There we go. We're gonna mix this all together. Mmm, that looks good already. All right, let's set this aside. We're gonna work on some tortillas. 
Now I'm using just standard size flour tortillas and I have 10 of them here. All right, so we got, we're gonna cut these in half. All right, I've got a large sheet pan, lined it with some parchment paper. Now find a small bowl and you're gonna place it right into the center. We're gonna take one of the semi-circle tortillas, lay it on your work surface. We're gonna place two tablespoons of the chicken mixture and just kinda of smear it around. And then we're gonna take about a tablespoon of our cheese. We're gonna place it right across the meat mixture. Now we're gonna roll this into a cone shape. So you're gonna start at one end and then you're just gonna roll it over the mixture. Go lightly on this one. You don't wanna smush it because then all of your filling will come out the other side and you don't want that. So just keep rolling like a little cone. There you go. And then we're gonna place it all around the small dish. One layer and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do before we add the other layer. All right, two tablespoons of our chicken mixture. One tablespoon of the cheese. And sprinkle that right across the chicken mixture that I had smoothed out onto the tortilla. <laughs> Start at the bottom edge, place it over it, and then just roll it very carefully over the mixture into a cone shape. And then I would put the seam side down right next to that one. Now we're gonna put 10 on the bottom. Now you can make some of these just cheese and mix them in. It'll make more of them for you. You can even do this with beef if you want to do with beef, ground beef. Take some shredded cheese. Now I'm using a Mexican cheese blend and we're just going to put it on top. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna make another layer of the chicken quesadillas. Also, I'm gonna add some cheese ones in there also, because those are fun too. Now you can do one or two tablespoons of the mixture. If you see you're running low, then that's fine. That's why you can do some cheese ones. Now I'm gonna lay this on top of two of them, right in between where it's poking upward. All right. Tuck them in. We're gonna layer some more of that Mexican cheese blend right on top of those. Oh yeah. Do y'all know where this is going, right? It's your last chance to use the cheese, so get it on there. <laughs> Take your bowl out. Hang on to it because we are going to use it at the end. We're going to pop this in the oven at 375 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes till that cheese gets nice and ooey gooey and melted and the tortillas are nice and crispy. Okay, we've just pulled these out of the oven. How fun does this look? Now the cheese is nice and melted and I let the tortillas get a little golden brown and a little crispy. I put my bowl back in and I filled it up with our favorite salsa. We got some chopped cilantro here. I'm gonna sprinkle it around, give it a pop of color. Don't forget the salsa. What do y'all think? What football team are you rooting for? Of course we're rooting for the Texans because that's where we live. Ooh, look at all that cheesy goodness. People can do this themselves. Look, dunk it in your sauce. Here's my bite. Look at that cheesy pull right there, yeah. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. What a fun way to make an appetizer. People are gonna love these. Now, this is my blooming quesadilla ring. 
make your own, build them as high as you want. <laughs> you can go another two layers if you want. Just remember you got a bowl that you're going to put back in there. All right. Y'all give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below if you're new to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way you're always going to know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.